Hey everybody, I hope that you guys are doing well. Before we get into the reading, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. All right, we're starting off with the Queen of Wands here. The Queen of Wands and the Four of Wands. I'm seeing something about a message coming through. It looks like exploring a new relationship, waiting for something. I get the sense of being ready and prepared. The Queen of Wands looks very much ready for whatever this Four of Wands is that's happening. This can be like confidently being ready for a relationship, feeling like you're in a space where you're ready for something new, ready to explore something, feeling hopeful, um, like opening yourself up. This is also feeling good about the space that you're in, like feeling good when it comes to how you're feeling towards yourself and also feeling like you're ready to be seen, feeling like you want to be seen, feeling like you're ready to like go out to connect, um, to be vulnerable, stuff like that. Feeling like it's the right time for you. Now, I'm interested in the five of, not the five of pentacles, the seven of pentacles because what it looks like to me is that Although there's something that you're preparing for, although there's something that you are ready for and like excited about exploring and even feel like this is something new that you're going to be doing, there is also an element of this like not happening yet. Like something is still taking time, but it looks like the more open you are and the more like you're investing in this space, the the closer you're going to get towards what it is that you want. It just may be happening maybe a little bit more slowly because you're looking for something specific. You know what you want. You know what you're looking for. You know what your your standards and your expectations are. This is a good sign. This is like waiting until the right thing rather than rushing in. It's like you, you know at least the... I'm hearing archetype. It's like you know the blueprint of what it is that you're looking for. You're just waiting for other things to fall into place. self-assured I like this because there's a sense of you really having your footing yeah I'm seeing you be done with something that you could have been dealing with before it's like you don't want to be you don't want to be dealing with this maybe you had been with people in the past where it's like um things had just happened very quickly and then like sometimes you got in a relationship sometimes you didn't there's just an element of there being um like just such a lack of commitment in the past when it comes to what it is that you were really looking for like somebody to somebody to hold you down for real and I'm seeing you be in a space where there's a recognition that the people that you were with before maybe like what you had been even attracted to before that's all changed too because you're not trying to you're not trying to speed something up before it's ready to happen. There's this sense of settling into the amount of time that this is going to wait and knowing that um I'm hearing jackrabbit knowing that instead of getting somebody that's just going to breeze through, you're actually going to get somebody that will stick around and that you'll also want to stick around for too. Like somebody that you'll actually want to build with and all of that stuff. Somebody that you feel like is um on the same level, on the same vibration as you, and that you find um, similar things important, like you have shared values with with this person. But yeah, in the in the past, the types of relationships that you may have pulled could have been from like connecting on a different chakra than you're ready to connect on now. There's a sense of being connected with higher chakras rather than just the root and the sacral now, which may have been like what you were connecting with before. It 
it just looks like even though you could have been with people in committed relationships it just looks like it wasn't as um it wasn't as serious as what you're looking for now there's a sense of you putting so much intention behind this so that's what makes this different. I'm also hearing that's what makes this special. I'm seeing there also be certain characters in particular that you're avoiding as well within this time. Yeah, I'm also seeing this be so true. What it looks like to me is that there have been important markers that you have made, important development developments that you have made for you independently within your life, especially starting off with the Queen of Wands here. So this is about being like, I can do all of this stuff on my own. Like I'm not having somebody come through because I'm trying to like fill a hole here. I'm really looking for somebody to um to come through and add something to my life to not take away from it and to not mess around to not play around so it's not like you feel like anything is missing it's more so being in a space where you feel open to connecting with another person rather than being in a panic and being like, well, I don't know how I'm going to take care of this or I can't do that. And so like, I need to find somebody that's going to do that for me. It's like, no, no, no. I'm seeing that there's so much that you've been doing for yourself. I'm seeing there be like so much like worth and so much stuff that's connected with like your goals and what it is that you've achieved and what it is that you've accomplished and what it is that you're building within your life that you're not just gonna gonna let somebody breeze through and knock all of that down so that's why i'm seeing you waiting for a very very particular a very very special sort of energy because i'm seeing you be like sure on what you don't want like definitely being good on that and being aware of what happens when you invite particular energies into your life and being in a space where you're like, I'm not going to let that disturb what it is that I have going on. Because you don't want it to detra detract from what it is that you're doing. Mm, I'm so curious to see what sign this is. I'm looking at Uranus and Mars. I'm seeing there also be a lot of obstacles and challenges that you're working through as well. I'm seeing also when it comes to yourself, because I'm not saying when the Queen of Wands shows up that you're just like, I have no issues, I have like nothing that I need to work on, like I feel 100% confident, like I, whatever it is about the space that you're in. I'm seeing like when it comes to like your self-esteem, your self-worth, how you feel about yourself, like all of that stuff. I'm seeing it be like a work in progress, but not like... I'm seeing this be something that you've invested in and something that you're serious when it comes to like being the best you that you can be. It's like you take yourself seriously, meaning that like you care about the way that you're living your life, the energy that's around you, what it is that you're doing for yourself, what it is that you're working on for yourself. And I'm seeing like this has been like years and years in the in the pro in the process. doesn't have to be literal years but for some of you I'm definitely seeing that this has been like a drawn out thing it's like you've been working on yourself so you can be like ready for a real relationship this is something that's important to you is what I'm hearing so I'm seeing there be such a big focus on the individual work that you've done to prepare to like come into union with another person It seems like there are also some some emotional things that you're still working through, some stuff that you're still sorting through.
It seems like this can be connected to times when, like, maybe you felt secure, you felt, like, sure about things, and then had it kind of ripped away from you, is what it seems like. It seems like it's connected with, like, interpersonal relationships in the past, like, romantic, physical connections, intimate connections that you had with people, and how, like, in the past you could have, like, been under the assumption that things would be, like, solid and stable and committed and all of that, and then it was, like... It reminds me of when you play, I'm getting like a vision of um, Connect 4 when all of them drop out of the bottom. It reminds me of that. So yeah, I'm seeing you still working through some emotional stuff, which is to be expected. But there's an absolute sense of, of hope here and of faith here that's connected with like your outlook when it comes to relationships, even if there's some other stuff that you're still working through. Getting to the bottom of it. Getting to the bottom of how it is that you're feeling. I'm seeing a lot of gold and a lot of blue here sticking out to me. Yeah, what I'm getting to is that the more you're sorting through this emotional work, and you can even be like playing things back, playing things back, like rewinding the tape, and tuning in and being like oh I remember in this situation like this was my intuition telling me that and I remember like I didn't pay attention to it or like I wrote this off or like when that person told me like I was just making it up in my head and it must just be me like I believe them rather than listening to my gut it's like going back in all of these situations and working through it and being like oh that was my intuition oh that was my intuition and understanding the connection between what you're feeling and also like red and green flags within your relationships too. This is like a whole study that you're doing. A whole thesis. Yes, yes. I'm telling you like all these relationships in the past that you have you can take now and learn all of these things from them about what you do want about what you don't want about when to follow your gut when to listen to your intuition when it's speaking to you when to believe yourself when to trust yourself all of that stuff especially to prioritize what it is that you're feeling so i'm also seeing it be like not just not just maybe like physical things that you've been working on for yourself, but there's a lot of like energetic and emotional stuff that you've been working on as well to like prepare you for this. Yeah, so you can be a hundred percent learning from the past observing it especially in connection to situations that went down that you did not like when it came to what was going on dynamic wise between like you and your partners and learning from the past and doing so in a way that you feel like you're finding your footing stability where you feel empowered through this Rather than being dragged down by the past, it's using it as, like, a leverage for your own personal development, for your evolution. I'm hearing spiritually and otherwise. There's a sense of so much wisdom being gained, like, through this experience that you've had, through all of these experiences that you've had. So much more that you know now. So much more that you've remembered. Things feeling much more cohesive as well. Yes. Yes. It was like all those tower moments really did lead up to something for you. It's something fantastic, something amazing, especially when it comes to you and what it is that you are accomplishing. Because I'm seeing such a, such a move to heal this divine feminine energy and to connect with it. 
even in the face of like the disasters and the unexpected things and like the avalanches that you've experienced. Just the vibe of you knowing better now. <sighs> Especially too for some of you, like I'm seeing, I'm so drawn to the energy of the Knight of Wands reversed. Like you may have really had people come through that, like you thought that they were going to be reliable or like if I just wait a little bit longer, like maybe they'll straighten out, like whatever it was that you were hoping for. And, um, like, people really, people really dashing what it was that you were doing. It's like every time you were building the sandcastle, having them, like, march through and knock it over. And, like, whether it was deliberate or not, it's, it's not what it's about. It's more so about, like, why were we attracting that energy into our lives? And why was this a repeated pattern that was happening? And it seemed like it happened. It, like, you got to the point where it just it happened, like, enough. And it happened, like, severely enough, even. And this could have been, like, for some of you, after many trials of, like, repeating this cycle. It's like, it happened. And then it's like, something just finally clicked. Something finally made sense. Like, hey, I really got to address this. I really need to work on this now. And it's like, rather than, rather than like going through life and like not learning things, especially relevant to what it is that you want and what it is that you can learn from, it's like rather than going through things and not like making the connections and connecting the dots and being like, oh, that would make this much easier if I would understand this or like if I work through this and now that I know how to connect with this part of myself, I understand how to avoid that thing over there and how this is really like my intuition giving me like a big red flag over there with that or like this is a warning sign that this is going to happen if I keep walking down this path. It's like all of these things that are connected now because of this work that you have been doing on yourself and that's why this is so important because it really changes. It changes what you even feel is your potential and what you feel is available to you and what becomes available to you. Because rather than being on a lower vibration where you just had this constant wreckage of everything that you were trying to build, there's a sense of like finding yourself and being able to also find somebody that's going to match your tempo is what I'm hearing. To see the Queen of Wands and also the Venus energy, I think that we are going to label this just as Divine Feminine. So everybody has Divine Feminine, whether um, regardless of gender, if, um, if one identifies themselves with a the gender in particular. So it looks very much like the Divine Feminine journey, the relevant one that some of us have been on. So... I'm looking at Uranus, Mars, and Venus here. I am hearing something about a trine. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.